it's that time again it's time for a haul video i'm not super pumped this week i'll be honest but you will have to let me know if i'm being a little bit ungrateful for my findings i so last week was thanksgiving i skipped last week the week before when i went my little regular routine route through the thrift store was out of whack. They have been doing some rearranging, and so I didn't find where they had the skirts, missed skirts entirely, and I feel like something else was off, but I can't remember what it was. And I wasn't super thrilled with the results of that thrift haul either, but I had some good estate sales around that time, so I was, I was okay. Missed last week, I go in today. Um, the elevator is not working. This thrift store has, it's got three floors basically. Um, and the only reason I need the elevator is because the carts are kept on the main floor and I typically need a cart. So, uh, after waiting a stupid amount of time for a broken elevator today, I finally went up. I was able to get a cart, almost didn't really need it, but I found out that they are doing some more They've still been rearranging. So now they have additional clothes on another floor, but you can't get to that floor without the elevator. So I think that's where the skirts must be because they are still MIA. Um, and my whole little routine was like interrupted. I couldn't really, I didn't have a good flow today. Additionally, I often get the best stuff off of their brand new racks that they're bringing out to the floor. And um, they didn't have that many racks. The racks they did have didn't have great stuff on them. And it wasn't that busy overall today. So I'm gonna show you what I got. Um, and actually I'm gonna go a little backwards. I actually, on my way home, went to another thrift store that I basically really don't go to anymore because they suck, but I was desperate. And I went and they had three things that, that were okay. So I'm gonna start there. This was Unique Thrift, uh, which for most people, it's like Savers or Value Village, right? I think it's Value Village most places, but for a parent, for some reason, in a couple of places in New York and New Jersey, it's a unique thrift. Um, I got this cute little dress. Look how adorable she is, right? Cute little mini dress. And this is, it seems to be wool. This was marked 15 bucks, but it was 50% off. So 750, it's okay, it's reasonable. And it's a cute dress and it probably is a size small. Um, doesn't have any tags or anything, but whatever, it's cute. So I will stick this up on whatnot probably for 15 bucks, which is, you know, maybe, maybe 20, I don't know, whatever. We'll see. I'll throw that up today. It's adorable though. Get that up there. The next thing I got also at Unique was this little 90s rayon dress. I will admit that I kind of got the, I mean, I think this is pretty. This was eight bucks also, no discount on this. Um, and it doesn't look like it, but I think it's, it's because it's all unbuttoned, but it's got a pretty sort of you know, fitted silhouette for the torso. Um, and I like the color. It's like this really nice sort of plum color. It's pretty, but it's, you know, it's eight bucks and it's freezing outside. And this is just not a winter, I mean, whatever. You can throw it with some docks and some tights and a sweater and it's a winter dress. But, you know, I was hoping to get more winter pieces but I didn't. So I will most likely put this up for 15 as well. And then this one I really like. Um, let's see. I can't wait to see what it looks like on a dress form or a body. Hold on. This was $15, but it was 50% off. So, right. So you can see it's got this great like pin tuck kind of detail and it's a nice pattern. And then it's got this very accordion pleat, like almost a micro pleat in a skirt. So this dress has a metal zipper on the side and a metal zipper at the back of the neck. The one at the back of the neck looks pretty true to like a mid-century era kind of thing. I can't tell what this is. Um, oh, it's not. It's, it's a weird name. It's J-O-L-A-N. So it's like it wants to be Talon, but it's Jolin. I don't know what that is. And that's actually the same as what the side zipper is. I'm not familiar with that. I mean, I don't think, you know, the construction inside does look legitimately older. So it was just a weird zipper, but this is really nice, soft. I think it's wool, like a wool jersey. So it's really, it's pretty, I like it. And this, um, I might do 
on whatnot for either 15 or 20. We'll see. It's really pretty. Make sure it has no moth holes or anything before I decide on a price. So that was like my second stop. Now I'm going to get into my primary thrift store. Um, someone had asked, this place is called American Thrift. It's in Passaic, New Jersey. I know that they have a couple of locations. I just, I don't know how, I know they have one on Long Island, which I haven't been to because it's on Long Island. Um, Long Island is very close mileage wise, very far away commute wise. It's like, it's probably under 20 miles away, but like two hours. It's insane. So, um, Manhattan, don't, driving around in and around Manhattan, which you have to kind of go through to get to Long Island, uh, it's always fucking catastrophe. So anyway, I won't be going to that store. They have other stores. I just don't really know where all they are because I don't need to <laughs> go to the one I go to and that's it. Um, all right, I got this blouse. This is very pretty and it's like 70s, 80s era. Jonathan Martin. I think that's what that is. Martin? Yes. And this was $4. It was not on sale today, but it's a really pretty little silhouette. You, again, can't tell. It is sort of like a little more fitted in the waist. It's cute. And I like the, I think it's 70s. It's got like a very 40s feel to it, you know? And it's very lightweight rayon, I believe. So that's cute. I got this little Vanity Fair slip. You're not going to see the color very well. I don't think this is like, I was going to say hot orange. <laughs> I don't think hot orange is a thing. <laughs> it's a very bright orange color, um, almost like a neon tangerine. And this was two, $2, not on sale. And it does have the old school Vanity Fair tag on it, which is really cute. Right, that little blue script tag. It's got some lace on the bottom. It's it's cute. It's, it's not white and it's a vintage slip, so I liked it. This is another cute little, I'm gonna say cute a lot apparently today. This is a little shirt by Lee and it's plaid. It feels like cotton. I don't know if it actually is. It has that little waist tie situation going on, 100% cotton. So, you know, a little bit cropped, you tie it at the waist, adorable. This was $3, it was like two fifty dollars or something like that. Um, so, you know, it works. This is another cute little blouse. This was $3, it was not on sale. I'm not super pumped about like the, well, that's not true. I was gonna say I'm not super pumped about the silhouette. I actually kind of like the silhouette because it has, it's nipped in at the waist a little bit. So it creates this like faux peplum kind of silhouette, which I like. Um, but I also really liked the print. It was pretty, you know, like again, is it psychedelic sixties? Obviously it's not, but $3 and you know, it's pretty, it gets the job done. I need to build up some enthusiasm before my whatnot show, <laughs> because when you hold something up and you're like, here's a blouse, it's got flowers. It doesn't really sell it. All right, let's see. This is a little bit more up my my alley. Uh, it doesn't have any tags, but it does seem very like 70s era. This was $9 and 25% off of that. So four to seven-ish, let's call it seven for funsies. Um, this is a knit dress and then it does have a liner in it. And the liner I believe is sheer. Yeah, it does have a liner, but the liner is still sheer. Um, but it's cute little, you know, I called it seventies because I feel more comfortable dating it a little bit later. It does have kind of a sixties silhouette to it with that trapeze mini kind of thing. So, um, there's a lot of dresses that are similar to this that are more seventies that like a seventies calling back to the thirties and forties knit dresses, but those are usually a little bit more solid. They're not as see-through. Um, you know, so anyway, this was, what did I say? Seven ish. And I'll put that up probably for 15. So, uh, let's see. All right. Those are kind of cool. I'm going to save the pieces that I do think are cool. I didn't get that much today 
because I wasn't really thrilled with a lot of what they had. Um, all right, this blouse is pretty. I love the purple. And it's not buttoned, so I'm not going to torture you with that. It's got this like Hawaiian vibe. Look at that peacock. That's really cute. This was uh, $250 because it was on sale. This is another Jonathan Martin. That's the tag, right? It's pretty. A little Asian vibe to it. Little covered buttons. It's cute. So I like that. It's nice. And, uh, hmm. So few things. Okay, I got this. This is a little goofy. I I feel like I pick up a lot of leopard print, and then I get more excited about it than other people do. But um, here we are anyway. I picked it up because it's faux fur, which is fine. But the I really like the cut of it. It was cute. Cute. Um, look at that. So you can't really tell. It's got this like corsety kind of situation. So it does have a little bit of boning in it. It tapers down a little bit right here at the front and it does kind of have a little bit of shaping to it. Um, that's the tag and it has a metal zipper down the back, but this is more like 80s, 80s, 90s era. So I thought it was adorable. I really like that it's sort of like a, you know, city style faux fur thing so and this was uh, 375 all right let's see do I only have three items left this is so pathetic no okay <laughs> I only have four items left still so pathetic all right this is just a little lingerie this will probably go on um, eBay not not be a whatnot item I don't tend to I don't want to say I don't do lingerie on whatnot. I do. I don't know what is supposed to be happening with this. It has this thing to lace up the front, which is cute, but it's not laced and it's just got open lace <laughs> um, all up here. So it doesn't have defined holes for lacing it up. So you kind of do what you want, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. I'll figure it out. But more sexy time, sexy time lingerie. I will put on eBay. Um, the lingerie I put on whatnot is a little bit more like nightgown stuff, not teddies so much. All right, what is this? This is pretty cool. I like this. Uh, this is a cape. I don't really know. I'm going to guess like 70s. It could be a little bit later, I guess, though. Um, Here's the tag because it's all unbuttoned. So let me show you that first. There's that tag. And then it's also got these guys over here, which are pretty cool. And let's see, I'm gonna so regret doing this because I'm already too hot, but it's probably easier. So, right, little cape, that thing. Oh, oh, here, wait, I don't even have it right. I don't even know what I'm doing. Just buttoning one button. So it buttons off asymmetrically so the buttons will be over here and then it's got these guys maybe or not okay those are just pockets <laughs> so all right though that's interesting it's cute I like it and business you can't go in there please I'm so sorry I need that um, it'll look better when I show it in the terrible photo for whatnot. You aren't even getting a whole whatever. It's a cape. People like capes. I don't know why. I like them in theory. I don't like them in a sensory capacity once I actually, excuse me ma'am, once I actually have to put it on and try to function. I don't like it. All right, let's see. This thing is really cool. So this is like a Chong Sam dress, except it's not a dress. <laughs> it is sort of like a long jackety thing. Um, if you're not familiar, Chong Sam are those like Asian style, you'll see in a second, Asian style dresses with the Mandarin collar and they sort of button down the side. So the buttons will go like here and then down here, right? So I'm trying to button it, I'm saying button it, they're snaps, snap it. All right, right, so 
really cool. I love the black with these like pink, I don't know what kind of flowers these are, mimosa flowers, I'm not sure. Um, I love that, but this is what's really cool is that it's essentially open from the waist down. So it's just like a top with really long dress length tails. Looks, would look amazing over a pair of like satin cigarette pants, something like that, like high-waisted, very slim pants. Um, awesome, it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. This was six bucks, not on sale. So that was nice. And then my last item, I'm down to my last freaking item. It's such a sad haul. But this is a cute dress also. Uh, this is another like 60s into 70s era. I feel like it's 60s. It's got a nylon talon zipper though. But little cocktail dress situation, right? Yellow lace, it's very pretty. And that hem is, you know, little pleated hem. Fox pleats, I think those are called. And let's see. I want to show you the tag. There's the tag. Carnival. That's cute. This was $8, $6. So, and this will go up on Whatnot as well. Um, that's it. That's all I have. My Whatnot show, I have a lot of inventory for it. The only problem I've been having is that the majority of the inventory came from my two recent really my most recent estate sale. Um, so I had the one estate sale where I got like some cool 60s stuff in a little suitcase and then a whole bunch of 80s stuff, but the 80s stuff is like filthy. And then I had another estate sale haul after that that was more of a range of eras, but, but it did have a lot of 80s and 90s. And so the filthy 80s stuff I'm still working on. I've been soaking a couple pieces at a time. The second estate sale with the 80s and 90s stuff, a lot of that, and actually a lot of Y2K stuff in there too. A lot of that is going to end up in this whatnot show, which I'm not pumped about because I like my whatnot shows to have at least a decent amount of like 70s and earlier. And this is pretty heavy on the 80s, 90s. Um, I have a lot of Y2K stuff that I haven't put into either of the shows because I'm not I'm not a Y2K seller, that's not who I attract, so I feel like it's a little off-putting to put too much of that into my shows, but that's what I've got. So I'm gonna have to get to work on setting those up for tomorrow. My Thanksgiving Day show was really nice. I haven't posted that, well, as of the time of recording this, I have not posted that uh, What's Old video yet. I'm sure that by the time I post this, that will also have been posted. I'm like two weeks behind on my videos right now, I think. Um, Anyway, but my Thanksgiving Day sale was pretty good. I was a little disappointed that I had to end it because I think I could have kept going for a while, but I had to go to Thanksgiving. So we'll see what tomorrow's like. Um, if I really feel unhappy with my inventory, I may pull some older stuff from Etsy or eBay or Depop, whatever, to you know pump it up a little bit. But I'm gonna get to work on that. I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know if I am being a baby about this haul but I really was like, had very grandiose dreams of what I was gonna find and was not rewarded with anything <laughs> in my fantasies. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting, all of those things. I will see you again soon. This is such a short video. All right, bye.